Hi, I'm Sam, and behind me, you can see I have a GT86. Now, this car is basically going out of production. It's about to be replaced pretty soon. So I called up Toyota, as I've never had a go in one, and said if I could have a go in their car. Now, this car is literally about to be defleeted. I think it was meant to go on a truck last week. That got delayed. So I went down to Toyota to pick it up. They didn't have time to drop it off, and I've got it for a couple of hours to have a go before this car goes out of production. So let's have a little look around the car. Let's go for a drive and I'll give you my thoughts. So the GT86, the little sports car. This is the Club Series Blue Edition. I guess sort of says it all really with the color. I believe it has slightly bigger brakes at the front and a couple of little styling cues, but essentially similar formula. About 200 horsepower, 200 newton meters of torque at 64 to 6600 RPM. So all of the torque is up high. I think they're a cool looking thing. Have a little look inside. Two seats in the front. Two little seats in the back. The interior is feeling quite dated now. It's ready, very much ready for an update. It all feels quite compact. Important essentials. Not really much to see, to be honest. I think it's about to go for a drive. So you start, stop. What do you, what's it like to sit in the car? I'm in quite a good driving position. I'm quite close. This is sort of the position I like really. I want to be a, really up close. All the controls nicely close. Let's set off for a drive. Okay, first thoughts. We've got that four cylinder engine note. Sort of roarty. I wouldn't say it sort of zings or anything like that. <laughs> you notice quite quickly how there is no power down low, which has always been a criticism this car has. And it also has like a bit of a mid range like drop in the torque curve, which does mean you have to really wring its neck, like properly go for it. So what's the car like around town? Well, ride quality, it's really good actually. It's really quite, deals with the bumps quite well. It's not harsh at all. It's firm, but not harsh. Steering, reasonably direct, does what you need it to do. Gear shift is very direct, like you have to specifically put it in the right place, but it doesn't feel super robust. Like, let's say my GT3 gearbox, I know, significantly more expensive car, but that gearbox is like, dunk, dunk, and you, it doesn't feel like the, the, the gear shift might flex or anything like that. Whereas this, it almost feels like the bit you're moving is quite thin. So it's fun and it's nice and direct, but it doesn't feel solid in the sense that you almost feel like if you pull it too hard, you might bend something. That, that's just how the gearbox feels. Pedal position, they're positioned pretty well. The, pe the brake pedal on this car, which has the uprated brakes, is, is, is nice and firm, like really, really, really quite firm. And nicely so, you stop, get a good retardation rate when you, when you hit it. And it's the pedals are positioned close enough together that you can heel toe, which some cars you just can't. They just can't get that gap. I don't know whether they think it's easier if you've got bigger shoes so you don't accidentally hit one pedal, but <laughs> I want my foot to be there. Sound system and stuff in this car. You can Bluetooth connect your phone. It's got nav, stuff like that. It's, it's not a very modern system. You can't have CarPlay or anything like that, but I imagine in the next version that we see that these the sort of things will be updated but ultimately this car is it's it's about what is it like to drive because it's an older car now and that's the thing that I want to know you just feel you just feel like a bit of a, a nutter going to the red line peel it into a corner back sort of settles down quite nicely. It has 
this weird sort of digital beeping sound when you get near the, the red line. So, nothing in second gear you are not getting a slide you need to be more on the in <laughs> I think this is a car you need to spend a lot of time with to really start to get the most out of which is which is, which is quite entertaining but the instant gratification of a, an amazing powertrain is not it's not there at all and that's a little bit of a shame, but it sounds like the next car, which is gonna have a 2.4 litre engine, I believe, or with another 40 horsepower and a bunch more torque in the middle, could deliver some of these sort of missing bits of the equation. Let's turn in here. There we are, wrapping up my time with the GT86. Now, bit of a conclusion. Well, ah, it, it's, a, it's a fun car. It's, it almost has a certain purity to it that you get with something like a Lotus Elise because it's, it's light, all the controls are nice. It's, I mean, it's got luggage, it's got back seats, you can do things like that with it. But the way it goes down a road, it flows really nicely and because the engine just doesn't have that much punch. You sort of focus, I found I focused on just get building a nice rhythm and using the gearbox and stuff like that. It's the more I drove it, the more I got used to the, the sort of the top end and you really have to ring it and you just get used to that idea. But up until for the first, well, I don't know, hour, I felt like I was abusing the car by doing that. It doesn't really have enough torque to boot it out of a junction or anything like that unless you probably gave it a clutch kick. But it's the things you hear other people say is it's got a sort of mid rev, mid rev sort of flat point that's that dollop of torque in the middle. And I think the replacement is going to have a bigger engine, a 2.4 litre is what, what we're hearing, and it will have a bit more torque. So that will make it much more usable, I find, than this car. This car, you've really got to rev and actually the more you do that, it does reward, but most of the time you're at sort of three, four, five thousand RPM, not seven, and that punch would be a bit more down low, would be more rewarding, but overall fun, just sort of like a really sort of like pure driving experience, and ah, all the stuff like the interior, whatever, it's gonna be updated in the next version, so it was a cool thing. I'm glad I've driven one now. I think it could do with a bit more power in this, guys. I don't know whether this one has grippier tyres than normal. These are Michelin Primacies, so I don't know whether someone who said that those were the same tyres as a Prius, but I don't think this one they are. It could do with probably a little bit less grip or a bit more power to make it more playful on the throttle rather than just having to use momentum, but it's a, it was a fun thing to drive. And for the money, I think it's a great sort of really pure little sports car that is also very usable.